can happen. Today's activity is going to be a couple of different techniques to show you how to make some things for yourself or some gifts for others. It's going to be a little, we're going to use a little bit of engineering, a little bit of art, some math, and uh, some finger motor skills and learn how to put something together without a needle and thread. All you need is fleece fabric and scissors to do these activities. And fleece fabric, if you're not familiar, is the type of fabric that does not ravel on the edges. So it's very, it's lovely for working with and very durable. You can wash it, dry it, um, take it camping. It's very easy. So for those that might not be familiar with fleece fabric, this type of fabric, it's the kind of fabric that's used to make jackets and hoodies. This is just an example from Ohio State University. It's something that we wear all the time, and I'm sure that you have them as well, and they usually have a zipper and uh, sometimes a hood. But the type of fabric that's used is called fleece. Very durable. The first thing that I'm going to show you how to make very easily is a scarf. So we're using a plaid fabric today, but I'm gonna show you some other ideas too. This is a great gift to make for anybody. It's a great gift for guys to make, for girls to make, to give as gifts to one another, anyone from a child up to an adult. The easiest way to make it is you should start out with some type of measuring tape. Today, we're going to use, this tape happens to be 60 inches long, which is also 153 centimeters. And we're going to cut a piece of fabric. We're gonna use this plaid, but I pre-cut so that you could see, this is a piece of 60 inch long fleece. And as I said, it could be any color. We're going to use a flat a plaid today. And the way you figure out how much to cut is just take your measuring device and put it around a person's neck. If it's a small child, you might only need 40 inches. I used 60 because that's fairly common. And you have to allow an extra three inches on either end to create your fringe. So three inches is about 10 centimeters long. And the width I did, you could do anything, but I did seven inches because that's very common. These are also great to make in athlete colors. So colors of the teams that you like to, to um, cheer for. They're a lot of fun. So all you do is cut your 60 inch long piece of fleece by seven inches wide, and then on each end, cut your fringes. The fringes are about one centimeter wide. And then when you're finished, this goes actually takes probably less than 10 minutes to make. And I'll show you, you just finish cutting the fringe up three inches or 10 centimeters on either end of the scarf and you don't um, you don't have to do anything else and you don't have to sew anything just cut the edges and your scarf is finished and then a person can just put the scarf around their neck you can also make it long enough to wrap and you just have to make sure that you measure first what you want to make and your scarf is finished. These are great for young children too. If you have a younger brother or sister and you wanna make them a gift, that's a lot of fun. So that is the scarf. The second item I'll show you how to make is a little more complicated, but so it takes a little more time. But again, you use the same type of fleece and this time you cut a square. You decide what size you want the pillow to be. We're gonna make a pillow, but you can also make a blanket out of this using the same technique. This happens to be a pillow that's 18 inches by 18 inches. So that's about 46 centimeters by 46 centimeters. And we're going to cut fringe on the end that's three inches, very similar to the scarf. The important thing is that you have to cut the size of the pillow plus your extra three inches for your fleece. The next step, as you can see, is I have to separate out the corners. I have to take out a three by three square 
out of each corner of the fabric because now we're going to cut fringes. These are a little wire. These are about two centimeters wide, not skinny like on a scarf. We need these large enough that we can tie off the ends. And so in order for us to make the casement, we're going to prepare like a case and stuff the pillow inside of it. We have to take out the corners on the edges in order for us to tie the ends together. So now that you have your square cut, you can do any size square you want. You could do it a small one, or you could do a large one, the size of a full blanket for a bed, or a sleeping bag if you're camping. They're great for camping because they keep you warm. Then you fold back your fleece. I tied off one end already, as you can see. And then you pull your fleece, oops, you pull your fleece back up over the top. And now I'm gonna tie off the edges and we'll come back to you in just a few minutes and I'll show you how to finish tying the edges. Okay, now I'll show you after taking some time to tie the edges, we're down to the last portion of the pillow and I'm just taking the tabs on either side of the fabric and I pushed the pillow form in, and now we're tying off, just double knot, match up one tab to the other, and tie a knot. It's that simple, a double knot once and twice. And go through each of the tabs all the way around and tie them off. And as I mentioned, this, this is how you can make a pillow form but you can use the same process to make, well, for, of course, any size pillow, and you can also use it to make a blanket. So I brought you some different fabrics, and if we were working together, I could also answer your questions and help you match up some fabrics. But um, I wanted to show you a couple of ideas. One of the things you can do with this is you can use, for instance, a fabric on one side, and you can use a solid color on the other side, like a red, or maybe a white or a cream color. So you could have the front side of the pillow could be the plaid and the opposite side could be a different color, anything that you want. And here are a couple of different ideas. If you wanted to make something for some children, this is a lot of fun. This is like if you wanted, if you had a little brother or someone wanted to do superheroes, you could get fleece with superheroes on it. So you could have Spider-Man or the Hulk and maybe put a black backing on it as a pillow or a blanket. And some other fun fabrics would be, we talked about the solid colors, but you could also use, here's one with watermelon. This is fun. Or some hearts you want something whimsy, whimsical like that. Or if you're doing something for the holiday, you could do something with a holiday pattern. Reindeer or snowman or really anything you like. So it's very versatile. And then you can use the same concept to of course make your scarf. So you can make a scarf in like a plaid fabric like this, or you could just do a plain color. If you wanted something plain, white or red, or the color of your favorite soccer team, football team. And if you wanted to do something for maybe a younger sister, or someone that might like the Disney characters, this is one with princesses. And these are fun, you can make a pillow, or you could cut a much larger piece the size of their bed. And you just would take two pieces, just like the pillow, cut them the same, and allow space for your fringe, as I showed you, and make sure to cut the squares out of the edges so that you can tie them together. Just double knot all the way around and you have a beautiful, large blanket or a pillow. This would be more of a blanket size, the size of a bed, or a scarf. And there's our scarf.
So I hope you like that craft. It uses a lot of different skills and you can use a lot of creativity to develop whatever you like. Have fun.